Welcome back, my dear light bulbs, to another Black Clover review. If you're a new viewer to my channel, remember to subscribe to become part of the light bulb army. So, I don't know if you're the same, but I literally forgot that today was even Tuesday. I even forgot that Black Clover is out today. This is why it's very important for me to be on my Crunchyroll app sometimes because I'm like, wait, Black Clover episode, whatever. I'm like, oh wow, yeah, that came out today. Now, this is the thing, I'm going to be truthful with you. I'm not the biggest fan of this arc so far. Some elements of it are good. Some elements I am i don't really care for. And this episode was all right for what we got, right? It was not no phenomenal episode or anything like that. And I think a lot of Black Clover fans are in the same boat as me with how they feel about the anime. And then some Black Clover fans are just fanboys and they just like, I love everything. You know, you, you know how it is, right? Um, and one of the best comments somebody left on one of my videos, Black Clover videos, they were like, you cannot please everybody, which is completely true. And I don't try to, right? If I have, you know, something negative to say about an episode or anything, I say it, right? I don't be like, I don't shut my mouth. I don't, I don't be like, oh, I'm going to just talk about the positive things I like, right? Like in this episode, for example, right? This episode, I have no problems with any anime episode where we get talk and dialogue, right? But when it's a rehash of stuff we already know, is it really necessary? Like, if you literally take this episode out of Black Clover, <laughs> it, it doesn't matter. Why? Here, here you go, right? Asta talks about growing up without magic, having no, uh, you know, not resenting the people that bullied him or anything like that, working hard. Yes, he got the powers of the devils, but he didn't use that power for revenge. Revenge is bad. That was the message, right? Good message. But then we got the devil believers. We get another like flashback of Dazu, which is just like how she met Bo. And I'm like, at this point, at this point, I, was that really necessary? We already know what she went through. We already know what Dazu went, went through. And then in this episode, we got more reinforcement how she didn't feel happy with her family she was with because she was under the assumption that they only were nice to her because they felt superior to her because yes, Dazu could use a little bit of magic, but not too much, right? And her magic is literally just taking other people's magic and combining it or just taking it and using it as her own. That's about it. But it's, it was like a rehash of what we know already, right? And the relationship between Bo and Dazu and they're very close and stuff like that. That was it, right? That That's that's one of the things I did not like about the episode at all, right? Now, something I did like about the episode is the geography. Geography is everything. Uh, shout out to Tekken 101. Um, so, even though he doesn't need a shout out for me because this dude is, is massive. Okay, so the geography between the Spade Kingdom and the Clover Kingdom, right? So there is a region, a neutral region that does not belong to the Clover Kingdom or the Spade Kingdom. And in that middle region, it's a strong magical region, which is very interesting. Uh, so it's very hard to cross, even for magic knights. And these are people with barely any mana, any magic, barely anything, right? And if it's hard for a magic knight to cross, it's going to be damn near impossible for them to cross. So I like the geography of the stuff because, right, the main arc we're going to focus on is the Banky Kula stuff. This is what we've been waiting for, right? I don't know if after this whole arc that I have now, we'll get back to the six-month training or whatever the, the case is. But yeah, Maggie Kula, that's what we're focused on, the Spade Kingdom, training to go there, you know, with the help of the other kingdom. Sorry, I forgot the name of the other kingdom right now. So I did like that about the episode, right? It's not like I hated everything about the episode or dislike. Well, hate is a strong word, dislike, right? I, I like that aspect of the episode. I also like the aspect where basically Dasu says he's going to take everybody's mana and stuff like that, combine it and find a way to protect them. But yeah, even that... The, the journey from Clover Kingdom to Spade Kingdom, like uh, Sakurai said, it's very far, very far. And, you know, they all die along the way. But that was just like, as long as one of us survives, so she, her head is just filled with, I got to do this. I got to enact revenge. If I die, somebody else will enact the revenge. I do got to say it was kind of creepy when they were like, 
Master Asta. I was like, whoa. I, I actually did not expect that, but it makes sense because they are double believers, but it still wasn't expected. I thought they were going to like stop him or something. No, they were just, uh, started buying, bowing down to him and stuff like that, obviously, because, you know, they see Asta as their own, right? In terms of Asta went through the same ordeals they went through, and then he got the power of the devil, and now they also want a power of a devil. Not Asta's devil, right? Of a devil, right? Which is very interesting. Now, what I'm looking forward to it really is the mega cool stuff. I don't know when we'll get that. Uh, more about that exploration, the hierarchy of the devils. Remember, we had the word soul devil, right? Um, and I wanted to know more about the hierarchy because the word soul devil and Asus devil had a little talk when the word soul devil died, right? Uh, you know, who is the devil king and all, all this stuff. Like, I'm really looking forward to all this stuff. From what I hear in the manga, which I do not read, uh, they're still in the Megi Kula stuff, so I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know if that's gonna be the last arc of Black Clover. I doubt it. But if you know this whole devil ordeal gets settled and stuff, we get the hierarchy and all this stuff, all the information, they're around the dimension, whatever they come from. It's like what what can they do next? Is what I'm thinking of, right? Um, towards the end up, so we got Yami and Magna, so they're there to stop them from going to the. Uh, strong magic region, which it's a very good thing. Like they, uh, the majority of the, I say ninety nine percent of them are gonna die, right? Even with the help of Dazu combining all the mana and all that stuff to, to make like some shield or whatever, yeah, the majority of them were gonna die regardless. So I think maybe next week's episode they'll stop them, and maybe that will be the last episode of this Dazu bow arc. Uh, I'm hoping, or maybe one more episode after that, and then we see the aftermath of things, right? But then it goes to show you uh, another importance of this arc is, you know, the sh the people that live in the shadows in the Clover Kingdom. These are the people that live in the shadows, the people that barely have magic, that are some uh, some that cannot use magic, just like Asa. These are uh, the, the people in the kingdom where uh, from the Forsaken Realm and stuff where basically a lot of the royalty, they, they don't even notice these people. Th these people were the ones that didn't get any help at all. Right. I'm not just hating on this arc. Like, I, I give it its props for the things it, did, uh, it does just like this, like I mentioned in many reviews. But then there are things it does, like repetition, like it just repeats like the same thing over and over again. Like, like we did not see a bunch of episodes saying the same message. We got to get revenge. All this stuff. I went through many hardships. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, if this episode literally, <laughs> somebody said, I went, I went through many hardships. Somebody else said, me too this somebody dude up the hill said me too yeah me too i remember it. i'm like bro all of you did we know we know somebody's house got destroyed somebody's pig farm got got, got destroyed um overtaken by the the pigs and stuff on some animal farm yes we we know right but you know i do gotta say for the viewers out there that do watch my black clover review thank you so much i really do appreciate it even though a lot of people are not checking out the, uh, the reviews especially during this arc right which is fine but i make these videos primarily for the people you know that are expecting a review from me or a video from me on black clover and like oh wait light hasn't uploaded or did, this, did he forget or whatever so yeah no i did not forget and I will keep continue with the Black Clover anime reviews, even though I was going to take a little break. But I was like, nah, you know, why take a break and ruin somebody's Tuesday or whatever that, that are expecting videos like this for me. So once again, thank you. You are all awesome. I really do appreciate the ones that do watch these reviews. And overall, I'm going to give this episode a 7 out of 10. Hope you enjoy this one. And remember to have an awesome day. Peace.